Hello, my friends. Good morning. It is I, Alphineas Gu, uh, with Cameron Mandy here as well, who uh, all of us, well, both of us being in a little bit of a sad state today. So uh, uh, for those of you who do not know, um, we, uh, we lost our dear son-in-law uh, about uh, a week ago, uh, and uh, it has been um, difficult for all of us. And um, as, as we have gone through the grieving process, uh, Mandy and I, do you want to say hi, Mandy? Uh, no, Mandy, I Mandy is wearing a hat, but it is not her normal hat. I know. Well, here, I'll show. Yes, you should. Yes. So yes. Um, normally my camera angle, uh, the hat is like up here. So now I'm in like a very awkward position. And all I'm thinking about right now is how you're framed completely weird and I'm framed Do I need completely. to slide over like this? No, it's fine. So it's just, do, do, yeah. Do. I think they call this deflection. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, oh, but I do, I do bring cute Yeah, things. this is your new puppy. Tell us about, so So tell us about this oh. little new puppy. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to start crying. So I'm going to just cut back to you and you can keep talking. All and right. I'll talk about her in, All right, just, in a just a minute. So, okay. So um, what we want to do today though, is a little bit uh, celebrate David. We, we loved him dearly. And uh, he has been a part of our lives for a decade, um, and uh, married to our daughter, and uh, and we, her her uh, his parents, very good friends of ours, and his family, good friends, and it was just a very good uh, circumstance that unfortunately uh, ended uh, far too soon. And I know that probably watching today are uh, quite a number of uh, folks who have lost loved ones. Um, and, uh, and have gone through uh, difficult circumstances. And so today uh, we actually want to talk about how do we memorialize those we loved in, in the games that we play? Because of any game that you play, a TTRPG offers this wonderful opportunity, if you will, uh, to, uh, to remember those we have lost uh, uh, and even those who are still living that we want to, to remember and, and have a part of our of our adventures. Um, so uh, as, as some of you may have noted, I, I did talk to Luke um, and asked him if he would be okay uh, with us, including David, uh, David's character uh, in the uh, Guys and Gax uh, materials that we're gonna be producing with him here uh, uh, in the next few months. Um, and he was fine with that. He was very gracious and, and wonderful. So we're gonna sneak David into, uh, into the Ethel and uh, you all will get a chance to know him. And I'm excited for that, honestly. I'm excited for you to know this wonderful young man who we are missing greatly right now. Um, so, uh, so what you may not know though, is one of the things that I am most proud of in, uh, in the world of Zyothe is that there are quite a number of folks who have had their loved ones uh, made into portraits and they are, they are or will be characters uh, in various adventures that we produce going forward. And, um, and that is uh, uh, something that, you know, we, we don't make super public, we haven't put it all out there, but, uh, but we're going to a little bit today because, uh, uh, because it is a dear and wonderful thing and, um, and I think fairly unique uh, in, this, in this TTRPG world in terms of trying to not have someone, you know, who is notable be, um, be remembered, but just, just us good old ordinary, crazy TTRPG people that we are. And so, uh, so anyway, Cameron Mandy, do you want to jump back and tell us about your little puppy? Okay, okay. Cause I think that a little lightheartedness <laughs> is, in, yes. is in order right now. Yes. Sorry. I'm not quite ready H to hold that little one up. She's talk so about, she's actually David, not that but, cute. She's kind of mangy. Well, but, yes. <laughs> I, this is what I like to say is that I like uh, dogs that um, you can find on the side of a dumpster um, or gremlin dogs. And you named her dumpster, yes? Is that no, correct? no, no. Oh, her name oh, is oh, Lady I, Gray. Oh, oh, Lady Gray. I thought it was yes. a dumpster. I think Lady a dump, dumpster is a great name yeah. for a dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, we actually got her like the day before we found out about David. Um, and so she has been a great piece in that way. And um Anyway, and um, I do want to say that I appreciate you all very much for sending out um, really positive, sweet messages yeah. and comments as um, we kind of tackle this really difficult part of life. So Yes, and it, um, it has been incredibly meaningful, Cameron yeah. Mandy. Yes, we've gotten uh, so many messages. People have sent so many nice things they've said in the GUI den, and it is, 
it is amazing to have this community, right? That that uh, yeah. cares so much about us and and each other. Uh, so keep going, camera media. I didn't. I just wanted to reiterate that. Yeah. Um, anyway, loss. There's been a lot of it. I feel, especially in the last few years, um, with COVID and some mm-hmm. of the consequences that we don't really talk about that came from COVID, which was a lot of <sighs> people well, really isolated and. Yes. Um, I don't want to get too into that or anything like that. Um, and that, I mean, I've lost, this is like my third really close person, um, um, in the last few years. And, um, I'm not ready to talk about them, but someone I am ready to talk about, um, cause it, this happened about, uh, 10 years ago. Um, so I lost my friend, her name is Annalisa, Annalisa, and, um, she passed away from cancer and I was in my like mid twenties when it happened. And so this was my first like really significant loss. And, um, we were talking about how you can kind of like keep people in your hearts, like through gaming. And, um, so uh, a few years ago we started a new campaign that we're still playing today. And, um, I was creating this like half elf or no, she was a full elf character. And, um, so I named her Annalisa after, my friend and um, like naming her that has like been a way that I can still stay like connected, even though they're not at all like, cause I mean, this is a fantasy elf <laughs> uh, character. Um, you know, uh, it's still like when I play her, I feel strong and I like her to have strength as a character. And yeah, so that's like one thing I've done personally to kind of, um, you know, um, keep her alive in my heart and feel close to her, even though she's not here anymore. And so that's like one example. And I would love if you guys put in the comments, anything that you personally have done, um, I can read them on the stream. Yes, please please do. And don't feel pressured to do that. that My friends, right. You know, we know grief is very personal. In fact, Mandy brought a book to my dear Kimmy called, uh, it's okay that you're not okay. And, um, and I think that is true, right? Um, I I tend to be a, a rather fast griever, and as I've grown older and experienced more and more loss, which just happens as you grow older, it, it dulls it somewhat. I, I don't know uh, why that happens. It just kind of, for me, I find it more dull. Um, but uh, but you know, you, you weep for a while, and then you begin to begin to not weep so much, and then you suddenly a, a nice memory comes in of the one you've lost, and then another nice memory, and and for me, that's kind of where I'm getting to. Uh, besides, besides, you know, the, the, all the back and forth emotion that often happens, right? That all, you're standing in the shower, or you're, you're, um, you know, looking, you know, in the mirror at your toothbrush, and all of a sudden, you know, you start finding yourself crying, right? This is, uh, and this is all normal and wonderful and terrible um, all at once, right? Um, so, so for us, uh, we, we would most welcome anything you would like to, to put in uh, in terms of things that you have done to memorialize folks. Uh, some of you may not know this, but, um, but we, a while back, and we will do this again when we do uh, Sundestia, a while back when we did East for Destia, we invited people to name mountains uh, in the Mithril Mountains and elsewhere um, where um, they could name a mountain in, uh, in honor of someone they had lost. And so we, um, we did that. And there's quite a number of mountains that are now named after, uh, after loved ones in, uh, in West Fredestia. And uh, Adam, just stop, come back here. Adam was crawling around <laughs> on the ground to get little puppy, little dumpster. Little dumpster. Okay. Hello, I do need to, little dumpster. You little I do need sneaky. to clarify. We did not find yeah. her at the dumpster. She is a dog. So sorry for your loss. So yeah. Cool, um, no, we got her from the Humane Society. So this is yeah. little dumpster. Yes. <laughs> dumpster. Yeah. Yes, I will never call you Lady Grey. You're going to be called little you can dumpster see, from um, now on. Her little leg, Adam. Um, yeah. So she had some surgery before we got her. Yeah. And so we're doing like physical therapy with her right now to kind of help heal her little leg. If she so. farts right now, I'm going to be really mad. Right. I don't, did you see the pictures we took of her in your, um, in your throne yesterday? No, I did not. I did yeah, not they were pretty that, cute. Yeah. Hat or no hat. So, so yeah. Well, we, you know, we... Um, we, uh, it's interesting thing, you know, as human beings, you know, and, and for me, the grieving process and 
Oh, what is that? An airplane. That's a, a the, so we, you do not know this, but we in Colorado right Springs, we are very near the uh, Air Force Academy, Peterson Air Force Base. And, oh, oh, I, oh look. We are so yes. all over the place this Look morning. right here. Do you see this right here? The, yes. Is that, 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 that adorable? Yes. Little dumpster with a hat. No, that's all right. One, one, one hat is enough for me. <laughs> Thank you. So we are anyway near this, this Peterson Air Force Base. And so sometimes you get these really loud jets flying over. So. That was what we just heard there. You might not have heard it, but we did. Yeah. But anyway, um, so in the grieving process, you know, for me, I do tend to try to focus on the positive memories as best as I can. Uh, even in the teeth of it, I try to think of of the goofy things that we did with David and the the smiles and the and the times where you know he did something funny or we did something funny together or those kinds of things because I find that helps me. But, you know, again, grieving is a very personal thing. And Mandy and I were even talking about this with Kimmy yesterday, that sort of the stages of grief thing that is out there, uh, the person who created that um, actually sort of walked it back a little bit because um, if, you, if, if you've gone through grief, you know that, that it can kind of bounce around a little bit. And so it's not like it progresses very neatly down this orderly line. Yeah, she said that she had written it to be a guide for those who would find it helpful yes. uh, in processing grief, but it was not supposed to be some like all encompassing, every single person is going to follow this very linear path of grief. And so, um, which is kind of how we've taken yeah. it is, you know, you go through your stages of grief right. and then um, anyway, this book, um, it's okay that you're not okay. I've been listening to it and everyone processes it differently. So this is probably not the book for Alphineas over here. Uh, but the idea behind it is that you really cannot win grief. You cannot overcome grief. You cannot, you know, like the idea is that sometimes you, so sometimes you can, um, sometimes though you, um, and it's okay um, if you just kind of live with your grief and find a way to process it and have it be a part of you and not necessarily feel, you just shouldn't feel like you're a failure if you're not able to necessarily overcome it the way that other people are able to, because everyone has such different spectrums yes. uh, in terms of how they cope with it. And there's not one right way. Um, and sometimes I think that we do get in this culture of like, get over it. Get, yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. And like, if you're not over it, what's wrong with you? Right. And um, that's not super helpful to someone who feels like such an immense amount of grief. Um, especially like they feel like they're failing at what they're trying to overcome. And um, and we don't need to add failure to, into the process of yeah. grieving, right? We don't yeah. need to add that in at all. So no, this is this is very helpful. And, and um, I know Kimmy really appreciated the, the, yeah. the, the books and, and all of that stuff. So yeah. um, anyway, I know this is like the most depressing <laughs> possible good mornings I I think that we've ever done. But um, I, let's, I, hope, you know, yeah, I, let's, I hope it is okay. I yeah. hope this is, um, you know, this is... Uh, uh, we just, we, Mandy and I talked about it. We talked about maybe not doing a stream. And, and then we really thought that, that, that I actually know of a number of people who have memorialized loved ones in their games. Yeah. I know of quite a few. And so after we started talking about it, we thought this might be something that people would find um, actually helpful, perhaps even in their own grief. And so um, if you want to name a mountain, it's coming again. And we would, uh, we would uh, let you know about that probably towards the end of next year. As we pro as we progress towards Sundestia, um, so I'm 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 actually excited for that. I was I was touched by how many folks did it the last time, and I guess um, and, and do do we want to just show yeah. some of the folks um, who well, are memorialized? Let me or? let me read some comments. Oh first. yeah, I would love you to do that. Okay, um, so first off, you should uh, get to you though. <sighs> No, but I'm just going to look like I'm scrolling. Or us. It's, it's not going to be it's the okay, most. It's okay, because I'm over here. I'm yeah. Like, here, take that little uh, cursor thing and put it right up my nose. Or, uh, little... They can't see that on the screen. Oh, that's right. I wish you guys could see that. We could so, have a lot of fun with Alphanese that. Alphanese is constantly see. talking about things he sees on his monitor. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, okay. Um, so, uh, Gooey Jim, to the Goo family, in peace and love, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Um, uh Dennis said, my wife passed back in December 21. Rediscovering my love of D&D &D is one of the things that helped me move on. That is beautiful. God. Dennis, I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, yeah. Heartily. Yeah. It's a, I feel like gaming is a way that, um, it's like kind of a productive way to process grief in that like you're not um, burying it 
right in something that's not healthy i feel like gaming is such a healthy um avenue for uh well and, and you know you know sweetie we also we're getting yeah. together with our friends and many of them yeah. are our good friends and our families right and and that support right and i can't tell you we've had so many people uh, Kimmy's been staying with us. We've had so many of her friends and so many family members and so many of our friends come by and they they hug and they cry and 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 this this thing is a good thing. Um, and so I encourage you, uh, I think for most people, it's not for all, but I think for most people, um, if, if someone you know is suffering from grief, um, don't stay away. Uh, don't 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 be afraid to just cruise on over and bring a milkshake or, you know, bring a, bring a, a meal or, or just a blanket or a teddy bear and give someone a big hug and cry with them for a little while. Because I, I do believe for most people that is, that is very, very helpful. Yeah. Um, I think um, you don't know what the right thing to do when this kind of stuff happens um, in like, do you, you don't want to say the wrong thing. You don't want to do the wrong thing. Um, and I think just at least trying to show up in a lot of ways. I, I think, no, that is true. And I is think, help, it can be helpful. Yes. I mean, it can also be overwhelming. There could be too many people. Cause well, like, you know, that happened yeah. three days, three, two days ago. Well, right? we yeah, we don't need to talk too no, much No, but that was just yeah. too many folks, right? And Kimmy, yeah. Kimmy said, is it okay? And everyone was like totally understanding and they cut out. And then, uh, then people came back that evening and she was back to, to sort yeah. of being fine. So, yeah, so um, you don't want to, and like, again, this book, this book is so good. If you ever want to read it, it's, it, the, it's okay if you're not okay. They, they talk I should have brought that. it. I'm sorry. Oh, Do no, you remember it's okay. The name of the uh, they, I mean, she has some great advice, like in the back of the book. Um, I can't remember what the author is, who their author is, but she wrote this super helpful list of things that are actually helpful to do for someone who's lost um, someone in that capacity. Um, and um, it, it Megan, Megan Devine, Devine, Adam from yeah. Off Camera says yeah. it's Megan, <laughs> Megan Devine. Um, and, um, you know, because you don't, you don't, you want to, you definitely want to avoid some like pitfalls. Um, you know, you just don't know. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Let's keep I, reading. I, I think you're doing fine. <laughs> I, I, I think this is what we were going to do today. Yeah. And, any, and any of the gooey folks that are out there that are experiencing some grief, maybe, maybe we can bring some respite to you a little bit. Yeah. And, and, uh, and maybe think about people who might know people who are experiencing grief and give them some ideas of maybe things that they could do. We're certainly yeah. not grief counselors by any stretch of the imagination, but... Uh, yeah, the, the book is written for both the person going through the grieving and people yes. who are um, trying to help Trying someone. to support. Yeah, yes. um, and they have some great, she has some great, because the woman who wrote this, uh, she lost her husband unexpectedly as well. Um, and so it comes, and she was a psychotherapist um, before that. So anyway. Um, and it really, I mean, for, yeah. for I, I will tell you that I do believe that, uh, that again, for most people, that the being, having a support group is, is really, really important. And if you know someone who's grieving who doesn't really have a support group, try to be a part of that support yeah. group where you can be. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, because it does, it does help. Um, and some, you know, some people think, oh, I should stay away. I don't want to bother them. And I think that's actually for most people, that's not uh, the right thing to do. I think it's better to go and be a part of their situation and support them and all of that stuff. Yeah, as long as you know that they may, it may, they, you might get there at a time when they're just not in the right place. And they need right to kick place. you out. And then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just know that it's not personal. It's, um, they love you. It's just, you know, so just, and that's one of those suggestions. This, this is not about you. Do not take it personally. Mm -hmm. Um, that's one of the things that this woman wrote about. Um, okay. Um, uh, sorry, I'm still reading comments. No, that's okay. okay. Cut to you. Harry. I know, but I'm really crying on camera. It's, it's okay. Just... <laughs> My friends, could, could a few of you just put a little note in there that it's okay to not I know, be okay? Everybody Camera knows. Mandy, it's okay right now. Okay. My... I mean, this, you know, I, I got to tell you, I, I, I know many of the folks who watch the stream are, are actually, you know, not just gooey fans. They, they become good friends. And, I think your friends are here to support you, and and um, I think that is is okay for you to not be okay. Yes. And, and you can try on camera, and if you're okay. all right, I might lose it here in a little bit, but I might not. I'm, uh, I'm holding up pretty strong, being the old geezer <laughs> that I am. So. Okay. Yeah. I am. Um, okay. This is from Harry. You can memorialize people in a lot of ways: names, places, art, and like that's what we're going to talk about here um, in just a minute. Um, Silas, Lord, Adam, can you get me some tissues? Cause like, um, Adam, she got a blow I her did, nose. I did, I did not 
consider bringing tissues on screen. Uh, my ex-wife and I celebrate our younger daughter's birthday every year since we lost her, and I think that is such a sweet um, way to make sure that she stays with you. Yes. Um, special I'm so day. so sorry. Who was that, Kimberly? That was Silas Lord Twist. Yeah. Um, uh, Belinda says, I can't wait to write for Sundestia. My dad was obsessed with Egyptian myths, and I can't wait to introduce the spirit there. It's been two years without him. Belinda, I remember us talking about Sundestia quite a while back. I'm, I'm sorry it's taking longer, but, you know, we're going to get there because um, I want to do that also for my oldest son. Um, that's, Sundesti is very important to us as a family and what we want to do. There's Adam passing the tissues. Adam, at least look in the camera and wave at people, right? Just, if you're going to do that, you might as well make it cool, right? That, <laughs> yeah, it's very good. That at least makes, yeah, maybe. <laughs> this, you know, I do have my secret stash in here just in case, but thank you. I appreciate that. Um, uh, and uh, and I, I, I must tell you that, that for us, uh, we're going to continue this, this pattern of, of giving people the opportunity to memorialize their, their loved ones in the world of Zayafe in a variety of different ways. My parents are both memorialized there, um, and as, as well as a number of other friends that, that I've lost through the years and family members that I've lost through the years. And uh, I, think it is, I think it is very healthy, actually. I think getting together... Um, uh, and, uh, you know, I, I've talked with Mike, uh, my son who plays with me quite a bit, and I, I said that uh, uh, as we progress through the years playing our games, that uh, when one of us finally does go, uh, whenever that is, um, that we will keep that seat for a little while and, uh, and put, a, put a mug there and <laughs> some dice and, uh, and remember our friend well. And uh, so that is, uh, that is another little thing that, that we plan to do. Because if you, if you game a lot and you game regularly, you game with people you love uh, for the most part. And, uh, and that, that, that bond continues for, for many, many years. And um, uh, it, is, uh, it is a sad and, and terrible thing. And then over time, uh, I really believe that you come to a place where you start having better memories and, and less grief and, 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 and more smiles. And that is that is a wonderful thing. So do we want to show any folks or do we want to do that? I have so many comments still. Oh, yeah, let's do comments. I'm actually like I want, still, to, I want to do the comments. I'm very far behind. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, so um, Deity031, who's Josh, um, it was so hard to lose uh, Celeriac, C-E-L-E-R, IAC when we were working on East for Destia. Mm, yeah. Um, uh, oh, yeah. this is really sweet. Um, I had a fiance, this is Grey Wolf 469. I had a fiance who died before we could get married in an accident. I also made a character for a game with her favorite character name. So Kiri is still alive and well in all of my games since 1993. Oh, that is marvelous. Yeah. 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 So, um, who was that? Um, that was Grey Wolf 469. So, Harry, um, there is a mountain named for my brother's favorite character. Look for Mount Bl Lloyd's. That would be him. <laughs> I believe in the Mithril Mountains, I believe. <laughs> it is. And, oh, Geeky also has a friend named Karina, who is one of the mountains. Yeah. Um, ah, Thomas says that I have been dethroned as Queen of the Hats. All hail Lady Grey. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. Okay. You mean Little Dumpster. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to keep scanning. Lydia is in the chat. Oh, um, and actually, let's go ahead and show her this portrait while we're, while I read hers. So, yeah, Lydia, much love, my dear. And, and um, I'm, I did, uh, I did use the, the blue oh. version uh, for the, for the montage. Hold on, I need to grab it. We wanted, we wanted to show, uh, show your daddy as a, as a maroon, which is what you wanted originally. And, um, uh, I don't know if Camera Mandy grabbed the original one that was uh, that was with the with the n more natural uh, skin tones, or whether it was more the blue green tones of the my room. So them. I'm about to find out when she actually grabs it and puts it up, so we can we can do that. But but uh, Lydia was one of the ones who reached out to us and said I really would like to do this, um, and uh, and Lydia, we we are proud and honored uh, to be able to. Uh, to put your daddy uh, in the world of Zyothave, uh, specifically in the Gloomport, where he's going to make a lot of trouble, I think, uh, is, is my thought process on this, but we shall see. But, so I have both. So yeah, this so, is... Um, yeah. And here's the My Room. And here's the My Room version. Yeah. And then she specifically asked for this art to be on the cover, the, the mushroom with the shells. Yes. Um, 
so, um, you know, when we do stuff like this, we're able to, um, and they just you. love that hat, you know, and, yeah. and there's symbols on that hat that have meanings and, yeah. uh, and all of that. And it is, um, it is really, really wonderful. Lydia, much love, my friend. Um, yeah. Um, so, we yeah, are, we are proud. beautiful uh, way to, um, uh, yeah, to honor, someone. Some, yep, honor yeah. someone. And, and of yeah. course, we did David, and many of you saw his, this is um, David's portrait. his, his image. Now, um, this was obviously made not recently. This was uh, from several years oh, ago. Oh, yeah, several years back. Yeah. yeah. But he was always a dashing rogue, and he might yeah. as well be a dashing rogue for forever in the world of Zayafe, yeah. which I am excited to do. And, um, and uh, oh, God. Um, Camera Mendy, you should switch to you real quick. Okay. Oh, oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Right. I'm I think right. it's okay right. to. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, okay. I'm still uh -huh. reading comments. Um, sorry, I am. Uh, if if anyone had like a comment that they want me to read, I'm sorry. I'm like really far behind. Just put it in again. Yeah. And don't be afraid to put it in again because this was part of our idea today was to be able to talk about loved ones and yeah. be able to share this with our friends and and be able to share this grief with you. This is helpful to me. This is helpful to Mandy. Yeah. Um, in fact, we thought we thought we wouldn't do it, and then we said the same thing, right? Well, you know, maybe maybe we can we can lift some others up, and maybe they will lift us up. And and you are, and yeah. and thank you. I can't tell you uh, uh, how much it is appreciated. Yeah, um, Julie and Sean. Um, uh, they uh, Julie says that she loves going through photos uh, as a way to help process, and yes. um, I'm. Uh, very fortunate in that I'm going to be the one who makes David's memorial video. Yes. Uh, no one else. I was like, <laughs> just me. Um, I'm going to make a, a wonderful video. And I've well, been able we've to. We've gotten so many friends yeah, who have given. Uh, here's, a, here's, right? a, here's a pro tip um, from a professional. Um, Dropbox uh, has this amazing feature where you can make a file request and you can copy the link and just like put that out there so anyone can upload their photos into a file that goes straight to your Dropbox. And so it's instead of like pulling stuff off of Facebook, which compresses the quality of your photos, it's one of the best ways to get like full quality photos and you don't have to send it out to individual people. Um, you just make a file request. If anyone ever needs that, you can just hit me up and I'll show you how to do it. Um, it would be good to have a, a paid account though, cause like there's, Yes. A lot of pictures. So, yeah, we've, um, gotten, we've gotten hundreds, right? Uh, yeah, we're at well over like 500 yeah. at this point. So all so, the friends and loved ones yeah. who are sending pictures of David and David and Kimmy and David when he was little and David with, with his friends. And it's just uh, it's just a wonderful thing. Yeah. We won't be able to anywhere near use them all, but we're going to use a nice selection yeah. of them as part of the video, which is going to be wonderful. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Wow. What a depressing stream. <laughs> I, 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 don't know I, know. If, I don't know if that's true. Okay. I think that, I think that, uh, I'm going to put it on you while I keep reading through I comments. think that we are, we are, um, we are reaching out to our friends and our friends are reaching out back to us and we are giving love and getting love. I think it's wonderful. Um, you know, you, as I said earlier, you know, as you get older, this, this grieving thing tends to be a little less more sharp. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, it's still terrible and you feel the loss. It's just, um, as you've lost so many, uh, as you get older, um, it just takes a little bit of the dullness. And I'm really at a place where I'm, I'm more remembering, it's been almost a week, and I'm remembering David now well, and, um, and thinking about those fun times, as I was saying earlier. And I think a lot of folks uh, probably in the chat who, who have lost loved ones, or, or if it's been a while, they're, they're feeling the same way. And, um, and I love that, I love that idea. Um, you know, Adam and Star obviously um, did a number of of their family, uh, Cameron, oh, yeah. Mandy, right? That in the in the world of Zayafe, who they have lost um, and wanted to to give love to, along with living members of their family, that they wanted to have, be a part of it as well. And we have a question. So yeah, here's so this actually um, this is Star's father, Dale. Dale, yeah. And um, she st shared the story uh, in the den, um, but um, we, he got to see this before he passed. He did, and that. Uh, um, he was loved extraordinary, it. and then this is Grace, Grace, and this is Merlin. And Merlin, yeah. yeah. And um, we have a question from the chat about um, how someone would go about memorializing their family member in the world of Zayathe. 
So we do a, a portrait program, um, and um, and unfortunately, I do have to charge for it. I, I I wish that we could just do it for for no cost, but we have to pay our artists, and we have to make materials and all of that stuff. But typically, if you write to me ahead of time or write to Camera Mandy ahead of time, we'll we'll cut the the price of it uh, to the to the more more where it's mostly just the expense um, and nothing else. Uh, and we would love to do that for anyone who, who wants to, to do that. This is a, a special, almost kind of secret thing that, that uh, only a few know about. Um, I'm, I'm very excited that, uh, that, um, uh, that you know, Gary, Gary Gygax is going to be memorialized in the world of Zion I, I, I'm, I'm blown away about it. And, and I think over time, we're going to have more and more of that kind of thing happening. And it is it would be our honor and our pleasure if that is something you would like to do for somebody you loved. So um, one of these days, I'm going to do my parents. Uh, I haven't done it yet, but, but I have pondered it at length um, because they were both wonderful and I love them dearly. And uh, even though I've put their names in there, I think I really want them to be characters as well. Besides, we need some older folks. You know, everybody can't be young and virile and burly adventurers, right? <laughs> I mean, I agree with that. <laughs> One of my favorite characters yeah. to play um, at the pre uh, at the conventions. Oh, what's her name? Essie? E no, I don't know. But Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Uh, Gwendolyn, yeah. and she's this older cleric. Yeah. And um, I love the idea that she got into adventuring. Later, later in life. Yeah, she did it as a sort of a yeah. midlife crisis kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really fun. Yeah. And I have a lot of great comments in the chat about, um, you know, it's not depressing. Uh, this is a great one. It's not depressing to be sad in mourning. It's only depressing when you lose the ability to see the light. You spend all this time talking about the joy and positive memory. So I haven't seen anything depressing yet. So yes. thank you. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I hope you all, uh, you all who are getting the I think David's going to be in the gloom board. So I think when you all uh, when you all get that, we might even, and as I said, we're going to sneak him into Guys and Gags, I think, as well. So uh, when you all get that, I hope you will uh, play him as the charismatic, dashing rogue that he was. Yes. Uh, yes. He, he was a he smiley. Smile. And yeah, he walked into a room and he lit up the room and he was he was always wanting to to pay for people's food or buy their drinks or whatever. He, you know, he. You know the old alligator arms, Camera Mendy. Oh, as everyone reaches for the check, well, David did never had alligator arms. He always wanted to. Uh, I had to fight him a number of times. You know, so um, fortunately, I was bigger than he was, so it was a good thing. So, um, yeah, you got a couple others you want to show, uh, Camera Mendy, or uh, um, yeah, we can show a couple. Yeah, let's do that. Others. So this is Kendrick, yeah. and um, Kendrick was writing for us for East for Destia. Actually, one of our very Donvin. first. Donvin. Yeah, one of our very first episodes of Good Morning Zayathe, like at the very beginning, was actually talking about Kendrick because we lost him around that time. Yeah. And, um, uh, and if you haven't, if you've read Donovan, um, much of Kendrick is in there. He yeah. didn't quite get it finished, um, but he got a, a lot done before we lost him. And um, I was proud to know Kendrick and, and pleased that we were able to have some of his work uh, memorialized in, in the world of Zayathe as well as his character, you know? So, I mean, I love, I love, I love the look on his face. I love, it's just, you know, he did tell me, he said, you guys made me a little more burly than I really am. And I said, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's most of us. There's Amanda yes. and, this, and she was memorialized by Kate Gold. Yes. The first time. Yeah. Uh, the first one that we ever had. Um, and what had a brought. beautiful portrait. Yeah, I loved And the, what a, her face. I remember Whimsical. when I got, I remember when I got her, um, her picture uh, and, um, and was talking with Kate and, um, and how much he, he, she was, she was, how br bright she was and, and beautiful she was. And, and, and she told me, Kate told me that, uh, uh, with, with some tears, um, how much everyone loved her. And um, anyway, uh, no, it is, uh, it is a, still a wonderful, wonderful image that I am, I am pleased uh, to have in the world of Zayathe. Yeah. This story is actually very interesting. Yeah, because, go, go ahead, Cameron Mendy. Well, I, I, you were the one who handled it. I, I've only heard the story, but basically they wanted... Is it Eric? To, no, this is yeah, Eric. This is Eric, but David, David Wells, I think. Yeah, Eric. wanted him to fly. So actually, um, I wasn't going to have uh, Dark and Haven have an Air Force uh, uh, originally with uh, with sort of Griffin Riders or Wyvern Wyvern Riders or whatever, but uh, 
but after I talked to um, after I talked to David and we talked about Eric, uh, we decided that was what we would do. Um, and so, uh, so we uh, so Dark and Haven has an Air Force because of because of us remembering Eric, uh, and that is um, that is a fun and wonderful thing. Uh, uh, which we are very, very proud of. And Eric was very early on as well. Um, and, uh, and, and passed far too young. Uh, many of, many of the folks we are, we are memorializing passed far too young. So, um, yeah. And then Tim and, and his friend, right, did- Oh, do uh, you want me to show it all? Oh, you can, oh, we can. You don't have to. We can wait a little bit if you want to. Um... Scott Dudley, who really loved being a dwarf, and so Scott Dudley is a dwarf. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, my friends, so we will uh, we will we will move on. But uh, uh, Camera Mandy, do you think uh, you got some more comments you want to address there that we want to discuss, or should we? Should we cut this short and move on with the day, or do you want to um, make some announcements yeah. and all of that kind of stuff? How do you? I, we didn't really have much time to plan this one, my friends. We yeah. did our best to think about it as quickly as possible, and um, and and uh, I hope you have I hope you've felt some measure of comfort yourself if you're going through grief, um, and uh, and if there's any comments, I really want to make sure we get those camera ready. Um, yeah. Um, so I wanna, this I is show actually Harry's from Harry's David too. What? I want to show Harry's David too. Okay, I need to pull that. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, I woke up with stomach issues this morning, so I didn't we're do all, as much we're as I wanted. We're all struggling a bit, yeah. my dear. It's okay. Um, I met David. This is from Jim. Um, I met David on more than a few occasions. Um, the first time was that because David was actually like at a, like he was. I wrote this in the newsletter yesterday. Um, he was at our conventions for yes. the first few years of Gooey Cube. He actually like um, would like drive out. Even in 2020, yeah. like he literally drove out just to bring back our stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, but um, anyway, so David, yeah, was a staple before he kind of struck out on his own and started his own company. Yes. Um, called, yeah. And called Fly High. I fly High, yeah. And, Which um, is, is, even though you're in Colorado, it has absolutely nothing to do with what you might be thinking <laughs> about right it now. Was, <laughs> so he started doing like real estate photography and he did a really amazing job at like, I, I was. It was incredible to watch him. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted, but I'm just gonna tell you a quick story about David. So David was working with us. He worked with us for a number of years doing something completely separate. He was doing like auto leads or something like but that. But he was always a creative person. Person, yes. Always his soul. Um, and so he starts coming into my office and um, talking to me about how he's got like this drone camera. And he had never done like videography professionally at all. Um, and like, so he starts, Doing and I've never, just to be clear, never done drone photography. It's not something I'm, I've, I've known. I also didn't know anything about social media video because um, I'm a, a trained videographer for marketing specifically. Um, and so he starts coming in with drones and like he's doing this amazing footage. Um, learning, really, really good. Yeah, yeah, like astonishingly good footage for, for someone who's an amateur, right? Yeah, who really has no idea what they're doing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and then. Um, he really starts building a portfolio and he's doing this on the side while he's still working for our auto lead company. Yes. And then he gets so good at it that he's able to, and gets enough clients that he just strikes out on his own and is able to create something very, very special in Colorado Springs, like a huge network of uh, realtors um, and other businesses that he got, does uh, videos like uh, during COVID, um, uh, when you couldn't really go to a property to see it, he would do these like walkthrough mm -hmm. tours with video. Um, and he did stuff like, like I've never seen before. It was, it was incredible to watch his spirit as he uh, found a passion for this. Yes. Yeah. We were so proud of, of what yeah. he was doing. And um, of course, Kimmy was very proud and uh, yeah. he just, he did very, very well. Yeah. So. Um, anyway, um, so Jim says, I met David on more than one occasion. The first time was at a restaurant where I was joining Alphineas and Colton Mike for dinner. I sat next to him at the end of the table and he was funny and very welcoming to a new guy. And he had this ability to meld himself into any situation. Yeah. That is very true. Um, he matched my style of storytelling and humor. It was so amazing in that regard. Um, that is a special gift to be able to do that. Like, um, when we talk about charisma, like, yeah. His charisma yeah, was he had an 18. 
<laughs> yeah, he definitely had an 18. So yeah, he sure did. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm I'm fine to um, log off. I think probably I don't really want to do any like promotional stuff right now. We um, should we should do a few announcements and let people know what. What's oh, gonna, I guess we should like at least it. talk about like yeah. like just to be and and we're gonna do the give yeah. we're gonna continue the giveaways again next week. Oh, we didn't want no yeah. not gonna do that this week. Yeah. but we'll continue the giveaways next week and. Um, I've got another one that I want to do that I think is people are going to really, really like. And, um, and of course, we got, we got stuff up that's fun that Mandy's been working hard on with some new merchandise and things like that that are in the, the GUI shop. And, um, but we'll deal with all of that stuff in the future. But uh, uh, this did set us back just a little bit, in particular, on the adventure, the Mornwood Adventure. Uh, the Mornwood Lore Book Campaign Guide and the GK Master Reference is really coming together nicely. And uh, this will be, as I think I mentioned, different from our, our previous uh, materials because uh, we really sort of we're sort of in a hybrid between you know what we would what we would normally do um, for one of our lore books, right? So like um, West Fodestia, this is definitely specifically lore, and it's big, right? And there's lots of lots of area and all of that stuff, and there's a secret note in here from Cameron Mendy, but. Um, but this is really more of a of a more localized region, and so there is more need for encounters and and things like that that are are sort of beyond what we would have in our lore book. And so we structured it um, much more like um, like a, a sort of a hybrid between an adventure and between a lore book. So you actually get a GM reference and you get NSREs. And I can't wait. Next week we'll show you the map. I, I can't wait to show you that. Um, and uh, and we are just uh, we are just a little filled with grief this week, and we will we will uh, continue on because honestly, I know David very very well, and he would hate all of this uh, commotion that we are doing. He would love to party with us, but he would <laughs> hate all this commotion that is going on, um, uh, because he was always such a happy soul, and uh, and uh, he would be lifting us up right now. Were he not, were he with us, uh, so. Um, Cameron, Mandy, anything else that we want to, uh... No, I think, to... uh, yeah, just give us some grace, um, as, like, it, this was a, um, you have to remember, uh, David worked with us for a number of years, so for the whole team, and, oh, yeah. I mean, he's obviously been, um, to all of our Christmas events, yeah. um, all of our, like, so even people who didn't work with David before, they, they met David, they knew David, so our, our entire team, um has had a really rough week. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, yeah, just give us a little bit of grace as we, like, finish. We're trying to get all of our Kickstarter stuff out. We're trying to get all the website orders out. Um, and um, trying to get the Mornwood. Um, I want to give some, like, major shout-out to AJ and Carrie because they're super oh, they're stepping doing, up yeah, to really help us great. right now. Yeah. Um, yep. try and get through everything and make it as good as possible so you love what you get. Um, and yeah, that's, I think, it. So Onward yeah. we shall go, my friends. Um, and uh, as, uh, as I've said a couple of time, times, you know, hug your loved ones close and, and remember that you never know. And, uh, and that is, uh, that is just the the wonderment and the the terror of life, right? Is that uh, uh, that most of the time it works out just fine. It's just every once in a while it doesn't, and you end up with a, a situation that just is beyond heartbreaking, and you don't even know, you know, how you're going to get through it. But but you will, because uh, because we have this enormous capacity to get through things, and for a time it is okay that you're not okay, uh, and it's. And it's okay to share that with others. And thank you again to, to so many of you who reached out. And oh, I want to show David Harry's David. Can we do that? Oh, I got to grab it. Yeah, you do that. So well, I'll, I'll do that. We'll 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 close on that. So Harry, thank you for the for the for the wonderful image. Oh, and don't forget to talk about creative goo. And for the oh, we got yeah, we got creative goo. We, we on Thursday nights. Thursday. Yeah, yeah, make sure you make sure you look at come to the stream on Thursday nights for creative goo. Harry, I wasn't there this last week for obvious reasons, but. Uh, uh, but I will be uh, this next Thursday, and um, at least I think I will be. Uh, uh, we we have a lot going on this next week, but we're going to do our best to get through it to, with with as big a smiles on our faces as we can, because that's the way David would have wanted it. But thank you all for the the wonderful uh, messages on Facebook, the messages on Discord, the 
uh, phone calls, the emails. Um, it is it is inordinately helpful for me uh, to know that that folks are out there and caring and and all of that stuff. And and I try to do that myself uh, as much as possible. And um, and we are uh, we are okay, even though we are not necessarily so okay right now. And uh, and I thank you uh, for for those of you who just shared with us today your grief and your your pain and um, and uh, uh, you know we'll we'll do some mountains here when we do some destia and give you all a chance to to put some of your loved ones there and and uh, if you want to do a portrait we'll try to figure out how to make it as economical as possible and uh, and. That's about all I can I can vamp for now, Cameron. I know. I'm I sorry. Start. I opened the wrong email address, <laughs> and so I'm just going to show it on my phone. It's not going to. Uh, oh, you got this. Just do a screenshot. I, I can't. I can't. It, uh, oh, so there. Harry, Harry's Harry posted in the posted in the dead Harry, so it's a little bit better. But yeah, yeah Harry's thank you, Harry. On David. So yeah. thank you, Harry. It is magnificent, and um, I have not told Kimmy yet. I'm going to give her a couple of days, um, and and thanks to all of you who also remembered her and and. Um, and the nice things you said. So, my friends, sometimes your adventures are not so sticky, and that is uh, that is the truth of life. And uh, much love to each of you. Like I said, hold your loved ones tight, and uh, we'll see you uh, uh, during the week in uh, Facebook and on the Discord. And we'll see you next week for uh, hopefully a little less uh, less uh, sad. Uh, uh, good morning, Zayafe, uh, because. Uh, I'm going to uh, do my utmost to do what David I know would want, which is to stop grieving and start smiling over all the wonderful times that we had together. And uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you, my friends, for being with us today. It was very special, and and uh, much love to each of you. Bye bye now.